Japan imposed export controls on advanced microchip technologies this week, mirroring recent moves by the United States and the Netherlands. The controls are widely seen as targeting China. Analysts say it is vital that Western allies coordinate their export controls. Henry Ridgewell reports for Voice of America. Japan has listed 23 types of semiconductor technology that are now subject to export restrictions. They include advanced microchip manufacturing equipment, such as machines that deposit films on silicon wafers, to devices that etch out the microscopic circuits of chips. The move will impact China's ability to make advanced chips, says analyst Yoshiaki Takayama. Because the number of companies with the capacity to manufacture cutting-edge chips is extremely limited, the Japanese measure makes it difficult for China not only to import advanced chips, but also to manufacture them. The United States banned the export of some advanced microchips and semiconductor manufacturing technology to China last October. The Netherlands, another key producer of semiconductors, has also imposed export restrictions. Washington says it wants to stop Beijing from using the technology for military purposes. At the May G7 summit in Japan, allies agreed on the need to de-risk from potential Chinese economic coercion and avoid becoming reliant on China for semiconductor technologies. So China's advanced semiconductor manufacturing capacity will not grow, at least in the short to medium term. Japan did not name China as the target of its export restrictions, which apply to 160 countries in total. But Beijing reacted with anger. In disregard of China's serious concerns, Japan insisted on making and implementing export control measures that are clearly aimed at China. Analysts say it is vital that Western allies coordinate their export controls. The U.S. is expected to update its list of banned semiconductor technologies in the coming weeks. Henry Richwell for VOA News, Tokyo.